Hi, Ava. Um, I wanted to say that first off, I loved how emotionally uh, connected and in tune you were with the module. Your response really showed that uh, you had a lot of emotional connections as well as you're really in tune with your sense of self even though we've just started this class. So I want to applaud you on that because I thought that was really came through in your essay and I appreciated that. Um, I think that you definitely, like me, didn't expect philosophy to be as complicated as it is, and especially as a science student, I know that I have also spent most of my academic career focusing on finding an answer to a question that is posed, so I think that we both are going to have that opportunity to further explore uh, focusing more on questions rather than finding answers and we'll both be able to develop a sense of awareness um, and be able to ask more questions throughout the course and hopefully for both you and me it will become less complicated. Um, one of the things I really liked about your essay was your um, you taking the idea of dualism and applying it to being an extrovert versus an introvert. I thought that that was super unique because I think it's a really good example of showing how um, a type of conflict can allow you to become more present within your situation and I think that that idea that as you become more aware of the different things that you're doing as an individual you're able to be more present emotionally and then you're also able to be there extrovertedly and emotionally and like outwardly so I thought that that was super interesting because I didn't make that connection when I was reading it myself so I thought it was a good example um, I also really loved how you related Needleman's explanation of happiness um, one that we both can now see is uh, a very individual, very individual practice is that happiness is uh, based on one's own goals. And I really loved how you went into that idea about how um, the different things that you believe will lead to your happiness. And I think we're also very similar in that is that I feel like we're. I want to impact as many people as I can in a positive way. So I thought that that was really interesting that you were able to take his explanation of happiness, meaning finding meaning, uh, and applying it to what you believe is the um, most like emotionally meaningful and thing that you believe will make you happy. So I thought that that was super unique and I really appreciated that within your response. Um, the final thing that I really liked within your uh, essay was I like how you... Uh, talked about love because I, I like you, I didn't realize that that was such a big part of, um, of philosophy. And I, I think that you are, were very astute in your thing, in, in your response, not thing, um, being able to say that you acknowledge and see how you haven't necessarily been the best friend you can be because you talk more rather than listening. And I, I definitely think that that, um, is showing that you're even more in tune with your sense of self than you think you are. And by being able to acknowledge that, you are fully fully getting towards being aware and being open and listening to other people and developing that sense of love. So that's I applaud you for that because I thought that was really interesting that you know you were able to look into yourself and see how his um his definition applied to you. But overall I really I enjoyed your essay, especially the little bit about the dream at the end. I thought that, that was really fun and um, yeah, thanks for letting me read your response.